today current affair is which of the following best explain the primary objective of the pm janman scheme option a development of facilities in urban areas b improving the socio economic status status of particularly vulnerable tribal groups pvtgs c increasing agriculture production d education reform for children you are going to start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is b improving the socio economic status of particularly vulnerable tribal groups explanation the primary objective of the pm janman scheme is to uplift pb tgs by addressing their socio economic challenges the scheme focuses on the providing basic necessities like housing under the pradhan mantri avas yojana gramin safe drinking water through jal jeevan mission healthcare via mobile medical units educational support including residential schools road connectivity and infrastructure development this initiative ensures that pbtgs who have historically pay through margination get access to essential services and improved living conditions leading to their overall development and empowerment so the india the hindu newspaper page number jaich and the next current affair is confederate the following with reference to the national quantum mission <coughs> nqm one india's the first countries to launch the dedicated quantum mission to the mission is implemented by the ministry of electronics and information technology three it plans to develop intermediate scale quantum computers with 52000 cubic how many of the above is correct if are not correct option a only one option b only two option c all three option d none we are going to start now 10 9 6 7 6 5 4 3 2 but the correct answer is sorry not correct answer is 1 and 2 explanation india was not for not the first country to launch a quantum mission several countries including the united nations states china canada and members of the european union have already initiated national quantum programs example the usa launched the national quantum initiative act 2018 China has heavily invested in quantum technology and even launched the world first quantum satellites Bikishev in 2016. The European Union launched the quantum technology flagship program in 2018. Statement 2 is not correct. Incorrect. The National Quantum Mission is implemented by the Department of Science, Science and Technology under the Ministry of Science and Technology Government of India. The DST is responsible for funding and overseeing research in quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum sensing, and related technologies. Statement 3 is correct. One of the key goals of National Quantum Mission is to develop quantum computers with 52,000 physical qubits over an eight year period of 2023 to 2031. This mission also aims to work quantum communication, encryption, quantum sensing, and advanced quantum materials. So, for the Hindu newspaper, page number 14. Thank you for watching. Talk to next one. Still and bye. Take care.